thank you because child, I thought it was about to be an issue. But listen, um, I don't know what the fuck is taking Ken so long because you know, Ken is a very planned out type of guy. You know what I'm saying? Um, he takes his time with everything. He's very humble. Um, a little bit of corny and I love it. His humbleness with his corniness and you know, he probably be giving, uh, giving De'Ara that power D. You get what I'm saying? Probably be digging up all the way down because she ain't went nowhere, okay? <laughs> but um, him and all that together <laughs> just makes a, a good brother. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what's taking him so long, but get a man time. He ain't got the rush. They still like 23. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Although they ain't going nowhere. I think that he should take, I think he can take his time, you know? I'm definitely ready for them to have a baby though. Let's get that poppin'. You know, I think I could take, I'll take the baby before the marriage and that's terrible, but whatever. Tatiana, what I call her, she a bust down. Yeah, my homie just smashed scoring touchdowns. She got some good cat, nigga, we could go rounds. Take me in, shit, I kinda want some more now. Uh, bust down, Tatiana, bitch, nasty. I'm in the recently gossip, yeah. Wanna flip this for the gram, I ain't trippin', it's the man. But just tag me where I am, cause I like fucking with the fans. Some real shit, I just vibe with some chill shit Real recognize real shit, and you niggas are real, real Bitch, I did it all by myself Fuck it, I don't need no help I just care about the homies that I'm rolling with You either win it or against it, fuck that other shit I did it all by myself Fuck it, I don't need no help I just care about the homies that I'm rolling with It all by myself. Fuck, I don't need no help. Start from nothing, I came up, bitch. I switched the game up, yeah. yeah. Now niggas hate me. Bitches mad, they ain't me. I don't know about you, but I love it when my girl give me that Becky. What? Yeah. What's up, y'all? She girl, Niji, the host. I need y'all to go subscribe to DJL TV. Currently has 38 subscribers. And the videos, vlogs, unboxings, reactions. And more, y'all make sure y'all make sure y'all go subscribe, man. That's 38 subscribers. Let's at least get them to 300. I mean, hey, you know what I'm saying? Like it's free. It ain't gonna hurt you or nobody else. It don't cost nothing. Just help my people out. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, man, y'all enjoy the video. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Niji the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. For more videos like this, please give this video a thumbs up. If y'all want to see more videos like this, put it down in the comment section below. And let's get to this video, man. So several things, people. Okay. Um. For one, Royalty, royaltiesworld.bigcartel.com is the website you can go to to order my merch. Yes, my merch, finally. There's some people that were ordering merch on the website when they were, I wasn't saying, you know what I'm saying, I wasn't telling them to. And um, I'm late on a few shirts, but your shirts are actually done and they're on the way. I apologize for any inconvenience that, had me, that may have been caused. That's number one. Number two, this ain't available. <laughs> number three, um, now nah, make sure y'all go check out the website if you need anything. Let's get it. I self, uh, I self print all my shirts now. Um, so I cut out the middle man so I can get y'all y'all shirts faster. And so I can get you the shirts, you know what I'm saying? So I don't have to depend on anybody else. It's nerve wracking. Okay. Um, and also number two, me and Tori are on a channel called Royal Reacts. <clears throat> That's where <clears throat> we do our reactions together. We personally have our own channels and we need to focus on our own channels and that's what we're doing. Nobody's falling out with anybody. We've been friends for 16 years. That's going to be hard. You know what I'm saying? Um, just want y'all to know that as well. And other than that, let's get to the damn video. So, Messy Monday, drama alert, Kodak versus somebody. Child, I don't be knowing. I don't be knowing. Let's just get to the damn video. I'm so glad it's uh, 10 minutes, you know, uh, 11 minutes. A blessing, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Look at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now he fly today. He fly as hell today. Think about the jump. Hold Jordan, kids. Hey, now, welcome back to Missy Monday. As you already know, you can't 
can't sit with me unless, unless you are P.O.P. P -O -P. And, and that's pretty on purpose. purpose. How you doing? This week, the girls was really quiet. I don't know. Okay. They went over to church. You got baptized. It was friends and family Sunday, so you got yourself together. I don't know what was going on. I don't know if y'all said me a minute. Y'all got yourself together on Saturday. I don't know if you're Muslim. Jehovah's Witness, or you've been knocking on doors and found Jesus. I don't okay. know. Y'all been quiet. But we're going to start off with some sugar honey iced tea. We have... Ken and Diaria. Well, Ken and Diaria, they have been a... No, you didn't say Diaria. And why they on Messy Monday? Let me hear this shit. I don't know how long y'all know. It's DK for him. DK for him. So, somebody had come in and you going to wipe her up. And he said, real soon. So, I don't know how soon it's soon. Oh, it's hot. It's light. God, it's like I'm in hell. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Production team. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna send this him on two months probation. He has two months to save up some money and pop that question to that girl because she's been with him for years. And if he don't do it, he will get life in jail. Period. Thank you, because child, I thought it was about to be an issue, but listen, um, I don't know what the fuck is taking Ken so long because you know Ken is a very planned out type of guy. You know what I'm saying? Um. He takes his time with everything. He's very humble. Uh, a little bit of corny, and I love it. His humbleness with his corniness. And, you know, he probably be giving uh, giving De'Ara that power D. You get what I'm saying? Probably be digging up all the way down because she ain't went nowhere. Okay? But um, him and all that together <laughs> just makes a, a good brother. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what's taking him so long, but get a man time. He ain't got the rush. They still like 23. You know what I'm saying? Although they ain't going nowhere, I think that he should. I think he can take his time. You know, I'm definitely ready for them to have a baby though. Let's get that popping. You know, I think I can take. I take the baby before the marriage, and that's terrible. But whatever. No more YouTube videos. Next case. Next for the sugar honey ice tea. We have Chop. I don't know if y'all know who Chop is. He's this new rapper. He reminds me of a handsome red tail dra. What is a red? A uh, redneck dragon, a real tail, a red tail dragon, one of the little lizards, mm -hmm. but they like him. So anyway, he posted up his new girlfriend and he put a picture of her. He said it's my lady or something like that. And then his old girlfriend, who was just like what a couple of weeks ago, months ago, kung fu, she coming in hard eyes. I don't know if she was trying to be funny, say, "Oh y'all look cute together," or she was giving him hard eyes. I don't know what's going on. So then her little friend, Contagious, Contagious, whoever, Kiki, she he comes in and he says, "I can Travon, I can." I can Travion. Oh, that's his name. No, his name Chopper. I can Travion. Talking about my best friend. Look better and wetter. My best friend looked better than her. And then he talked to boy, a lady boy and said, nigga, you gay, go play with your ass. I'm just like, hey, this boy. Throw the whole situation away. I don't know why Kung Fu thought he was going to be a good match when he was sitting there calling her a bitch. And when he was referring to her as his girl, she's not a dog, sir. <laughs> she's not a dog. Right. I'm going to send this in the five months and not post no more girls, okay? No more girls on the ground. Because at this point, you don't know who you want. You know if you want yourself. Five months, no more Not yourself. Because you don't even know who you are and what you want. Next case. Next on the Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Ayana. Now, Ayana is boy made with his daughter. She has been seen with NBA Young Boy. I don't know what she thought was going to happen with that situation because, honey, he got about 20 baby mamas, 17 children, 15 girlfriends, 17 ex girlfriends, 20. Hey, hold on. 25 girlfriends in line. 100 we don't know about. Hold on. So I and he has herpes. Like, you know. To be honest, there's a lot of people in the world that have herpes. You know, the shit may not be dormant, not dormant, whatever the hell, whatever. Um, but if my daughter and I'm Mayweather <laughs> dating NBA young boy for one is a problem. But not only would she not be dating NBA young boy because he's a problem, she wouldn't be dating young young <clears throat> NBA young boy because he has herpes. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody's just acting like it ain't an issue unless he just dealing them down with a condom. And, and the way he got all these kids, I don't think that's happening. You know what I'm saying? So, like, Mayweather, you just, you just not going to chime in on this? Like, you haven't said nothing. I'll tell you what. If he get a hold of him, he will whoop his ass. That's all I know. But, uh, child, whatever, next. 
don't know why she thought this was gonna work. Well, he always is claiming he ain't got nobody. He don't go with nobody. And he is single. He says it publicly. Right. And then she was over there months ago saying, "Oh, this is my baby." Used to beat up his baby mama and all kind of shit. What y'all want that boy for? He don't care about none of y'all. You know what I'm saying? Is the thing. So, you know, he a cool nigga. You know, he's somebody I'd be a friend with, and that's a friend on on a, on a different level because he's a different dude. You know what I'm saying? You, you probably can't even be a friend with him, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? But I love his music, so yeah. <laughs> and he threw an egg in her face and said, I'm single. So now I guess at this point, she's just over it. Now she wrote her little blah, blah, blah. I don't want nobody. I'm, I'm going to be single for a while. I don't want a friend that can potentially turn into a boyfriend. I don't want to talk to nobody and I don't want a boyfriend. I'm single. I'm this. I'm, I'm just like, girl, you didn't know that, sis? Right. Me and that girl. We was never friends. Y'all have to know the difference between an associate and a friend. You y'all got you you know you got them people that you friends I'm so I'm I'm so mad right now, y'all I'm shaking. Girl, we never we never hung out, we never seen each other in person, so how the f are we friends? Make it make sense. That don't make that don't make sense. She do not like Y'all I'm so goddamn mad right now. Only reason why she know about who I used to talk to, everybody, some, a lot of people used to know that. Like, that's not nothing new. Like, she sounds stupid. Come on now. We're going to put her one year in the hole for being stupid. And she defined herself. <laughs> because, girl, at this point, you done lost you, your identity, and your whole self-esteem. Hopefully, she get herself together. Because, girl, your daddy is made with my nigga. I don't know. Girl, next day. That's all we got for the sugar honey tea. Let's move on into this mess. First of the docket, we have Isha versus Night. Well, Isha decided to go on Instagram. I wish y'all stop, bro. I wish y'all. I'm so tired of seeing them. I just wish y'all stop. Y'all so damn young. First of all, Naima was messing with Aisha. Aisha is 17. Naima is 20. Naima, what are you? What are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Publicly, you know, come on now. I mean, or at all. I mean, I guess three years not too far apart, but I can't do it. You know what I'm saying? At 20, I think I went to about 18. But not 17. I just, I ain't fit right. You know what I'm saying? And tell her followers that she got hit by a car. She posted this picture of herself in the hospital and said, I've been hit. She didn't rather get hit by a car? Girl. Close the court. Close the court. Oh, what happened? I didn't want to talk about my <laughs> Is your... Is your serious? All of her people were so upset. They were sad. They were like, oh my God, get well soon. Are you okay? What's wrong? No, she Come didn't lie. Mm -mm. It was a prank. raising these girls who raising these girls <laughs> mm, mm, mm. they let they let their whole following like at least in a, in a prank in the prank video you let you your people know it's a prank at the end of the video you know what i'm saying not girl whatever what's up y'all okay look y'all gotta chill it was just a prank right period let me tell y'all her mama was in the hospital what mom was in the hospital so she was like Isha, let's just act like something happened to you since everybody keeps asking me to drop YouTube videos. I did just I just create a YouTube video, but I created my YouTube video. And for the first video, she was like, let's do a prank on the surprise. I know a lot of YouTubers do their pranks and all them kind of pranks on their lover, but they don't do it on their fans, people who like look up to you, support you, love you. <laughs> and she decided to do that to them, and they didn't think that was funny. She didn't learn from our money trade. So then, right. Naima decided to come in knowing that I had beef, knowing Isha done drug her from here to Piedmont Park, from Piedmont Park. To Virginia, from Virginia to Florida, from for Florida to Tennessee. For real. She done drug Naima everywhere. I don't know why you not even keep one that lace front yanked off of her. Yeah, yeah. But if you yeah, want to yeah. keep your, your lace front yanked, then go on and keep messing with Isha. Well, she told Isha that the Naima gang would never do this. I said, okay, girl, now when you troll on back down there and they drag you. Okay. Drag you down 25 and she say, Isha gang will never get dragged. Then, girl, you can't say nothing about it. I don't know, girl. Y'all girls need to stop this foolishness. Well, there ain't nothing about this. If it ain't about me, I wonder if Isha got hit by a Camry. 
Pencils are gay. young boy and NBA young boy had made a tweet and on his tweet one of his fans had commented, "You need to go back with Jania." And Jania saw that and she was like, "I know you're fucking lying." She started to go and like a lot of comments talking about. Don't get back with him. You don't need him. You're better by yourself. So for those who want Janine and NBA Young Boy to get that together, baby, I don't think that's going to happen no time soon. And I don't know why y'all would want that beautiful woman to be with somebody who just doesn't respect her. Well, and, and it had a lot to do with her not respecting herself. When you, when you don't respect yourself, people disrespect you. You know. For me to get hit by a man, I mean, hell, anybody can child care. Let me tell you something. I used to get bullied, you know. And if any of you motherfuckers who used to bully me watching me, let me tell you something. Today you will catch a bully. I don't play that bully shit. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have enough, you know, I guess respect for myself. You know what I'm saying? Self-esteem wasn't high. Whatever you want to call it. It wasn't, it wasn't doing, it wasn't in my favor. You know what I'm saying? But today. Don't play with me. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like a man continuously hitting on me. He got to go to sleep. You know, he got to go to sleep. And at that point, I will have to hurt you. You know what I'm saying? It'll be like, oh, did you just hit? Okay, because <laughs> okay, I'm not even about to. I'm going to try and fight you up, of course. You know what I'm saying? But it'll get to the point where either. He gonna whoop your ass while you trying to uh, fight him? Or you could potentially whoop his ass too because I don't put nothing past women. You know, there's some women I hear that go toe for toe with a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Um, or he could very well just hit you. You cry, be dramatic, ah, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And then he got to go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? If he ain't going to sleep with you, you don't need to let him back over. But obviously, all this shit is easier said than done. I ain't in the situation. I just know if I'm, if I were, bro, going to catch a bullet, a knife to the balls, you know what I'm saying? Something. I'm gonna hurt you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, don't play with me. <laughs> to the ability that he should, but that none of my business. So I'm gonna just stay out of here. Okay. Well, if it ain't about me, let's kick it. Let's game. Get some pretty women. Shout out to you. You get some pretty women. Me and Jay decided to post a picture of his son. Like, he's just been a baby daddy in the baby's life. And, honey, let's be clear. Right. I guess the baby mom was just like, you know what? I'm tired of Stop posting my son up on your Instagram when you don't even come and see him. You haven't seen your son in months. Okay? I mean, it's his child, too. He can post what he wants. But I get where she coming from. Like, if you ain't even gonna come see your child, spend time with your child, give money to your child, which I don't know if he's not. But... You shouldn't be posting them, because at the end of the day, it's not your child, really. You just donated some sperm, daddy. Right. <laughs> Hello, you just was a, a sperm bank. You was a donor. You ain't no daddy. You just, you ejaculated the pit. Like, my mama was an egg holder. You know what I'm saying? My mama didn't take care of me for some of y'all who know, maybe, or don't know. Yeah, my biological mother, um, she didn't take care of me, so, you know, I call her egg holder, you know, uh. Or she was a sperm holder, you know, one, one of the two. That may sound harsh, but it's the truth, you know what I'm saying? It's the truth. Idiot. Well, if it ain't about me, she has revoked him from being a baby daddy. Okay? <laughs> okay? We have Black Black versus Michael. Um, Rappaport. Raptor. Rappaport, child. Call that. Just in some mess with full ass last week and now this week, and it's just like, girl, what's your tea, girl? Sus, you need a free girl, so Something. I go rubber back or something. I'm the hardest young nigga, I'm the hardest rapper in the game, I promise. Like, when you talk about me, you should like, you should put me in a category of like Paul, Big, Nas, them niggas, like, you feel me? Yeah, I don't know about that, sweetie. Just because you got a couple of hits and you've been around for five years, don't make you a legend. Um, I don't know. Well, Michael decided to come out and say what he had to say. Kodak Whack. I mean, Kodak Black, the non-rapping rapper, says
said that he should be looked at in the same category as Nas, Tupac, and Biggie. He also said that Tupac and Biggie only became legends because they died. Duke, you're not dope. You're not a dope rapper. You have no skill set. You have no flow. You have no vernacular. Without the face tats, the wild... You better use that vernacular. Whatever the hell that is. Y'all let me know what that is. Vernacular. I need to use that. <laughs> Dare do. And the short stint in prison, you'd be working at UPS. You know, like Biggie said, don't be mad. UPS is hiring. That would be you. No disrespect to UPS. Comparing yourself... To those dudes is a guy playing basketball in his backyard shooting air balls comparing himself to an NBA player. You're not even a top 10 mumble rapper. Oof. Get out of here with that creep. Damn. That's what I'm talking about. Talk your shit. Talk that. So anyway, Kodak had a concert. And in his concert, he wanted to address some things to Mike. on this month was dry. It's about to get crazy. So let's just wait for this heat going and heat on up. Spring is here. So let's spring into some mess. That being said, y'all already know God only made one you. And if you don't be you, then nobody else will. And until then, I will see you next Monday. That is hilarious. I was about to just cut the camera off. But yeah, y'all, make sure you order your shirts at royaltiesworld.bigcartel.com. And that's it, man. We on to the next video. Peace out.